So looking around the world today, one question seems to come to mind. Are we financially screwed? In this video, we'll dive into some pretty interesting statistics about the Great Recession from 2008 and compare it to the current pandemic-induced recession. So let's find out, can we predict our economic future based on information from the past and what are the actual variables that come into play? Economists say there are three main variables that could indicate recession, and that would be consumer price index, gross domestic product, and unemployment. But let's focus on unemployment, as this seems to be the most tangible element of the situation right now. So what you can see here is the fact that I have plotted some data from the great uh, recession from 2008. Um, and I have plotted data from the US and which is represented by the blue line and Denmark which is represented by the red line. Um, on the x-axis we have a timeline of two years from the September of 2008 to September of 2010 and the unemployment rate is represented on the y-axis. All right, so if we take a look at this graph, we can see that the US started out with a 6% unemployment rate, which is steadily increasing to a 10% in the date of September of 2009, which actually is starting to flatten the curve as long as we go with a slowdown in May of 2010. Comparison to Denmark, Denmark actually, if you see, it started with a 2.5% on the unemployment rate, which was very low, starting actually to increase dramatically at December of 2008. And then it actually goes uh, past May of 2005, where actually in America is starting to slow down. So you can see a slowdown on the unemployment rate, on the growth of the unemployment rate in America in May of 2010, whilst in Denmark since it had a lag in actually starting it because of the series of events that happened all over the world, then we can see here that it didn't go, it didn't slow down, it actually continues past May of 2010. All right, so now let's compare the recession from 2008 to the current situation. So this is the current unemployment rate during the pandemic. What I did here was to plot data in Python and I plotted it on the timeline of one year this time from, from uh, June of 2019 to June of 2020. And we can see that in June 2019, both countries started out with an employment rate of 3.5% approximately, which was steady all the way until of February 2020. Okay, so right here in March of 2020, we see a dramatic change. We see a spike on the unemployment rate for both Denmark and the US and the US has an unemployment rate here of 14.7% which actually goes down later on but this is right when the lockdowns happened. So the numbers of the unemployment rate here is actually very interesting to me because the US in the first graph that we looked at and now seems quite reactive. One reason could be here that Denmark is more resilient with its big social safety net while in the USA it's easier to hire and fire people without too much red tape. So maybe what you're seeing with the US fluctuation on the unemployment rate is a true market reaction while Denmark is simply more delayed. So are we screwed? I'm not sure. But what I'm hoping you see from plotting this data is just how big these economic changes are. It took years of bad banking policy and a huge housing bubble to have the unemployment we had 10 years ago. But what we can see now is just how reactive the unemployment market is in real time in certain parts of the world. So you tell me, what are your predictions of what the economy is gonna look like two years from now? And what is the data we need to be looking at today in order to figure out the economy tomorrow? Please leave a comment, be safe, and thank you for watching.